guys, welcome back to another awesome mystery box Monday. Yes, we always have to start the week with a mystery box. Wow, really cool. Yes, I've got a few pops on display because I went to the markets on the weekend and I was able to pick up some pop vinyls. I know not everybody cares about pop vinyls, but how cool is that? Elvira, very cool. Mistress of the Dark. So for $14, I am 100% gonna pick up these. Very, very cool. And this is from 2017, so it's actually a pretty old pop, that one. And then I also got the Phantom. Yes, I am a humongous Phantom fan. I've still got, ooh, I got, I don't know, over 100 Phantom comics still sitting here in my room. And this is the Phantom 80 Years Australian Exclusive. Very, very cool. You can see this guy is kind of like a grey colour, just like in the original comic books. And these are all the, car uh, the characters you can find. And now I need to find the red one and the blue one, and I'll have the complete set because we have the purple one now. Very, very cool. Here we go. You can see the purple guy there. That is just absolutely awesome. And you can see he's got his rings there too. So you'll have the skull ring and the good mark ring on there. Very awesome. There we go, have a look at the side there. And there is the back. It doesn't show you all the other characters on the back of that one. There we go. How strange is that? But anyway, enough of that, enough of that. Let's chuck these guys back over there. I know not really anyone cares too much about the pops, but I think that these three are very, very cool. Uh, you'll have to let me know. Uh, down below, leave a comment down below. What do you think about pops? Do you collect pops or do you like them or do you just not care at all about them? Because <laughs> I, I have quite a few pops now. I've got about six, 60 of them. And currently I have been collecting these uh, pop albums. I'm trying to get that into view. There we go. You have ACDC and you've got Angus Young down there as well. So these are from the pop album series. And there's the back there. So yeah, these are what I'm collecting currently at the moment. They've also started doing uh, comic books. So you'll be able to find a Superman with an image of the Action Comics number one in the background of the Superman one. So very cool. I will be buying that, don't you worry. Uh, <laughs> okay, two and a half minutes into the video and we're only now getting into what you guys actually want to see. And this is from the Daredevil series. This is the Surfy Dude. Surfs up, very cool. And yeah, they uh, released this recently for the Olympic Games, I think. I think that was when they first released that. So very, very cool. Uh, no information on the back. But yeah, that's awesome. Let's throw these guys. We'll throw all the cards up the back there because I'm not gonna open all of them. They, some of these I just bought because they were cool. Like the surfy guy, definitely want that because I'm only literally one street away from the beach as it is. So it's very nice to have. And next is from the Hot Wheels Art Cars series, the letter I is Rigor Mortar. Very cool with those skull wheels, black coffin body with the engine and the pink side pipes. You get a little bit of a little bubble there for where you can actually sit in the car. Just a very, very cool, as I said, from the Art Cars series and get that out of the way because we're not going to open that. We will open a few of these though, don't you worry about that. And there's something, some special things down the bottom hiding away down there as well. So we'll get to those. Uh, maybe we'll, when we get rid of a few of these from the front, we can start digging into what's down the bottom. Next up is the Custom Small Block Experimotor Series. And this one here, you can pull all of these pieces off and you can put actual Lego pieces on there which is really, really cool. So possibly next week. Yeah, we're, all right, we'll do it next week. I'll dig out a couple of my little Lego characters and um, chuck them on there. There we go. You can see that it's just a block where you can put all your Lego pieces on. So yeah, next week. Next week, guys, we'll do that. Get that guy out of the way. All right, let's get into something we can actually open like this. Subaru WRX STI, the recolor in white and black and the red writing on the side there. Really cool. Speed graphics. 
and nothing on the back. It does give you the year, which is the best part about a short card. Open this guy up. I can't believe we're already five minutes in and we're only now just opening a car. That's bad for me. That's really bad. And this is a left-hand drive Subaru, which is a little bit unfortunate. You get a Subaru badge on the front, or the, the racing livery, the STI racing livery with the black and red striping over the roof. Really cool, gets a little bonnet scoop there. No painted headlights, but the, the grill, the casting actually looks really nice on the front there. Very nice. On the side here, we have all that cool racing livery. Once again, the STI, this chrome double, double star wheels. Very nice. No post in the back, and you get a little bit of a tab there, which is really cool because it always looks like a little license plate area. Awesome. And there we go, there's the other side there, exactly the same. A little bit of a spoiler over the rear window. Awesome. That's the base there, in case you guys wanted to see that. All right, let's see if we can dig down here. Uh, no, can't reach it just yet. All right, next up we have, that's right, two color variations of the 1980 El Camino. Also from the Art Cars series, which is actually one of my uh, favorite series that Hot Wheels does. This has the H on top, and you see one is like a sky blue kind of color. There's some funky looking designs all over it with these cyclone style wheels. Really cool. Really cool. And then the red version. Really nice also. As you can see, they are both the same design, just different colors. And I'm not going to open either of these because I already have one of these open. Uh, so we can possibly open this one up next week. Really cool though. I love that design. That design looks really, really cool. And you get different colored bases. I wonder if, I might do, I might get a couple more of these and do a base swap and have a sky blue base on a sky blue car. That might look pretty cool. I don't know. That's not quite the same blue. Oh, I don't know. I don't know guys, you, you'll have to help me. Should I do that? Should I get a couple more of them and, and try and do a base swap? A wheel swap sort of thing? Uh, come on the car, come on. Yes, we went to the market, as I said, and we found a whole bunch of really cool cars. Really nice. This here is a Corvette Stingray, obviously. Orange window. Gets kind of like a, a skeleton design over it. Really cool, gold wheels, gold base. There's the base, can we read it? 65, 65 Corvette. Really nice, I love the gold, the gold base and these gold extra pieces on this. That's really cool. Very cool. I do quite like that. When was this one from, I wonder? Hmm. I can't, I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows. Uh, when this came out, let me know. Because I've never seen it before. And I think that that looks really, really good. Alright, let's get into another car. This is the 96 Porsche Carrera. This is in green. You see it's got the little Porsche logo on the white and white stripe and circle on the front there. No headlights, unfortunately. It's a little bit of orange paint going through the white on the side here. Really cool with the white aero disc wheels. And on the back just has Carrera written on the pack at the back of the car. Very nice. And I'm not going to open this one either because I already have one of these open. We previously opened one of these in a, uh, a multi-pack. So I'll throw that guy up the back there. Try and get these to sit around. There we go. Yes, I've still got all my ID cars hiding behind there because I've uh, next week. Let me just move this camera up a little. Oh, actually, no, not next week. Wednesday is going to be another ID car, and that will be the last ID car uh, that I'm going to tell you about, because for, uh, last week I had equal amounts for the, the Skyline plus the Corvette. So I chose the, Cor the Skyline because I'm a huge fan of the Skyline, and we will do on Wednesday the 2020 Corvette. So I hope you guys 
get ready, like to get ready for that because that's going to be a really cool one. And then I'd still like to do the Viper. This Viper here is a uh, Apple Shop exclusive, as far as I know. So yeah, look forward to that. Next up, we have the 2018 Bentley Continental GT3 in green with the black and white. Got your racing stripe over the top there. Your 100, your Bentley. Very cool. I think the 100 represents the 100th anniversary of Bentley. I think that Bentley's 100 years old now. Um, not entirely sure. I'll have to I'll have to ask Chasing Diecast Cars about that because he recently did a Bentley video and I can't quite recall exactly whether it was a uh, a 100 year anniversary episode he did. So yeah, a uh, giant wing on the back of this, very cool. I would like to see this in a stock livery, to be honest, without the racing stuff all over it. But it's a very cool looking casting, nonetheless. I do quite like that. Let's move along. Let's move along. Next, we're gonna have a look at this. Yes, it's a Ferrari. Wow. Lensed headlights, black bonnet with the gray vents on the front there. Giant wing on the back. Wow. 575 GTC. And it has, are they side pipes possibly on there? Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure what that is on there. And there's the back there, classic round Ferrari lights. And I want to see what this one is actually called. Ferrari 575 GTC. Okay, so that's exactly what that says there. Very nice silver paint that. And yes, you you never leave a Ferrari behind. If you find a Ferrari, pick it up. Pick it up. Uh, next up is the Formula Gen 2 car, or Formula E Gen 2 car, I should say. The Tag Heuer Porsche Edition. And it's really nice to get the Porsche livery all over it. As you know that this is from the actual electric Formula 1 races that they're doing now. And go all your proper racing livery on the front all over it. Just absolutely incredible. Um, I possibly will get a couple more of these because that's really cool. It's even got the Vodafone logo on there. There's the front there. Uh, from the Green Speed series. But yeah, this is my first Formula E Gen 2 car and it just happens to be a very cool one. I do like that. Tuck that guy over there. Go for another loose car. Yes, we've got another Ferrari. How cool is this? Once again, has lensed headlights. There's a silver piece in there for the vents. Wow. Double star wheels, the prancing horse on the side, leather interior, and you see the engine in the back of this one. Wow, no rear lighting detail, but still really cool casting and not bad for a dollar. Ferrari F430 Spider. Wow, very nice. I'll have to admit, the place that I got my loose cars from, I got a pretty good deal from there. So, not bad for a dollar a car, I have to say. Uh, next up is the Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300 or 1300 search and rescue livery. Uh, 75th anniversary of Mercedes-Benz Unimog. Uh, is that like the collaboration between... I don't know. Is the Unimog just a Mercedes or is Unimog just its own brand which merged with Mercedes. Uh, it's another question I'll have to ask Chasing Diecast Cars because he is a big, big, big fan of the Mercedes-Benz Unimog and a little gift for him I got. I'm gonna reach it. There we go. I picked this up the other day for him. So this is the Star Wars 88 Mercedes-Benz Unimog U1300 from the uh, Star Wars series. So I'm gonna post that off into his box and I'll get that out to him as soon as I can because it's literally been several months since I've posted anything because I just haven't been able to afford it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's have a look at that. Very cool, very cool. Next up, we have already uh, opened one of these, I'm sure, is the 89 Porsche 944 Turbo. 
Um, if I haven't opened this one, please let me know. I will have to double check with the, uh, my open cars collection, but you can see this is the Magnus Walker Urban Outlaw Edition with the matte blue and red with the gold wheels. Just absolutely incredible casting. And you can see it's got stuff in the back there. It's got a uh, doctor's stethoscope because back when this was, the car itself was actually released years ago, it was, it was known as the doctor's car. Like all doctors used to drive those cars, apparently. Next is the Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile. And this is the Tumbler. I think that's what they call it. In a, uh, like a, a desert camo effect. Very cool. Not the biggest fan of this particular uh, movie. Uh, or, or no, The Dark Knight Rises. That was the terrible Batman movie. That was just annoying. I know a lot of people liked it, but I, I personally, <laughs> I personally couldn't stand that movie. It was just terrible. It was just absolutely terrible. And I'm a big Batman fan. So me saying that the Batman Dark Knight movie sucked, that's a big statement. Uh, next I found in the store, an old 2016 uh, release car, 2010 Camaro. It's very strange how occasionally an old car pops up into the, into the shops. And it was the same shop I bought this from. So, uh, yeah, same day, bought that and that and something else, oh, the, the Bentley, I bought all of those in the same day and this was in there as well. Just one random car, highway, Hot Wheels, Police Department, Highway Patrol, really nice metallic blue with the white orange stripe, gets a red, a red window for the red light bar on the top, just really cool and this is one car I actually missed out on back in the in the day. So very nice to actually add that to the collection. Very, very nice. Let's move this, some of this stuff around so we can still see it. And now we're gonna leave those for a second. We're gonna do one of these. Ooh, yes, that's right. Found more of these cars. This is the Nissan 350Z. Uh, on the back, they're made by Ken Toys. Very cool. And they've got a little button on them which actually it used to light up headlights, but uh, the batteries are no longer working. So, still a very cool car to get. Gets multicolored interior, highly detailed. All the details on the back, just really cool with these giant wheels. On the front there, you get the giant intercooler, the Nismo intercooler, Nismo window banner. Just really, a really cool car. And uh, yeah, as I said, I've got a few of those, so uh, nice to actually add the Nissan to the set. And there is one more down here. There it is. There we go. We have the Nissan Skyline GTR 34 with a giant like, <laughs> exposed intercooler on the front there. Very cool. Uh, let's see if the lights work on this one. No. No lights working on this one. Also has the Nismo window banner, Bosch on the front there. Really cool giant wing on the back. That one, this one at the here is missing the wing, but eh, not gonna complain for a dollar. On the side, GTR with these big chromey wheels, crazy designs, really cool stripes along the side there. I need to fix the wing. Eh, no to worry. On the back there we get all the details and everything like that. It's just really cool. Huge, huge cannon exhausts. These are really cool. And once again, has really nicely detailed interior. All the bits and pieces painted. This one is right hand drive. Look at all the gauges in there. Wow. Look at all those gauges. Pretty cool. So yeah, for a dollar, that's really cool. I'm going to do another one of these. Corvette C6? Um, yes, Corvette C6. And this is a matchbox, which is very cool. So you get these really cool wheels. And the back ones actually look like they're, yeah, they do have matchbox printed onto them. Wow. Nice details on the back there with Corvette on the license plate. 
that was really nice. Never seen these printed, these wheels with uh, Matchbox printed on them before. Very cool. On the front there we get the headlight details, the badge. Oh, that's really cool. Don't know what series this one is from, but that's nice. I like that. As you know, I'm a big Corvette fan, so very nice to have that. All right, let's go and have a look at one of these. Yes, found another Johnny Lightning, the blacked out 1959 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. And how cool is that? That is so cool. And it gets like a black chrome bumper and grill section. Wow. Or a, or a dark silver. On the back there we get all those details once again. Very nice. So we will definitely open this one up in a future episode. So be sure to uh, whack your notifications on. And there's the back there so you can see all the ones that you can collect in the series. And how cool is that? I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Let's move on. Yes, you can see it. You can see it. The Hot Wheels Premium Fast Wagons have just hit the stores in Australia. And we have the Audi RS6 Avant. Woo, wow. That looks nice. I really couldn't care less about the real life version of this car. I think it's way too expensive for what it is. Like way, way too expensive. Like it's just insane that people actually buy them. Uh, yeah, get that primer kind of gray color. That dark, darker gray, yeah. And those wheels, it does look really cool. I will admit, I will admit this looks really, really cool as a Hot Wheels. But the real life version, eh, not really, I'm not really obsessed with it. I couldn't care less about it. I'd much rather have one of these, or one of these, or one of these, or one of these. There you go, that's the cars in the set. Very cool. Uh, I've still got to find these three. So maybe another day I'll be able to show you those. Another quick look at that. And then yes, as you saw, we have the 1969 Nissan Skyline wagon. It's not a van. It's not a van, it's a wagon. If it was a van, there would be no back seats and no windows. And then it would also be called a panel van. And there we go, all the details on the back. Really nice, I like the design on it. The red, white with the blue. Those really cool four spoke JDM wheels, Hot Wheels written in the side in Japanese. And the mirrors on the front there. And there's the front details there. That's really cool. And there's the car art too. Just an absolutely awesome, awesome looking car. But yes, it's not a van. It's a station wagon or an estate or just a simple wagon. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, next up, I found the Renault Alpine A110 in this Monaco, uh, Monte Carlo racing uh, livery, in the rally racing livery. Really cool. So we will open this up in a future episode. Actually, let's, we'll line this up for next week. We'll line this one up for next week because I actually really, really want to open this one up. That looks really, really cool. So yeah. Make sure you come back next week and we'll open that. We'll open a few of these up next week, I think. And the last actual carded car from the box is another Johnny Lightning. It's an off-road Mustang. And it's the Mud Stang. It's awesome. I know Matchbox also uses the name Mud Stang. Uh, let me grab one. Let me grab one. Uh, it's a good thing that they're not too far away. There we go. There is an, a Hot Wheels mud stain. There you go, quick little look at that. And it's in the Zamac effect, which is really cool from this uh, Mustang series. There you go. Put that guy off to the side, we don't need to look at that. Just thought I'd do a little quick comparison of this. Get the muddy tires, all the great details, the white stripe. And this is most definitely a primer gray, light primer gray. All the details on the back there, wow! That's so cool! And on the front there we also get extra details. Oh, it is primer grey with white stripes. There you go, there you go. Alright, let me find a spot for this because... 
kind of running out of space at the moment. Let's go and have to move some of this stuff out of the way. Move some of this stuff out of the way. <clears throat> move that stuff, move that stuff. Put the skyline in view a little bit better. And yes, next up we have a whole bunch of these. So yes, we have another Ferrari. Wow. Get all the black paint with the Ferrari logo on the front there. Gold wheels, like, like that. these ones look like they're faster than ever wheels or just an OH5, I think that's what Hot Wheels actually calls them. Get all the engine details in the back there. Wow, what a crazy looking interior. And this is the Enzo Ferrari. Wow, no rear light details once again, unfortunately. But that is really, really cool. Never leave a Ferrari behind. Next up. I'm going to have a look at this. This is a Nissan Silvia. Very cool. I'm not too sure what. Uh, is this a Maestu? It's a muscle machine. On the side here we have all of the racing, drift racing livery. Really cool. Um, this one's also missing the spoiler off the back, but that doesn't matter. On the side back here we have some stickers. Nismo.co.jp Really nice. Something on the back window there. Can't quite work out what that's supposed to be. Not entirely sure. But this has got a really, really well detailed interior as well. Red bucket racing seats. Pretty cool wheels as well. There you go. See the engine, the interior is actually really detailed. Come on, focus. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. And on the back there, we get all these details as well. Wow, that looks like a really cool drift car. I like that. It's kind of like a, a turquoisey kind of color as well. Very nice, very nice. Let's put this guy up here. And you can see the different size scales. And as you can see, we got some cars. Yes. All right, this one here is a Nissan 350Z, also in a drift effect, drift style. Orange wheels, I'm not entirely sure what series this and this is from, but uh, yeah, these really bright orange wheels look really cool. Bright orange window. Oh yeah, racing sponsors on the front there. Nissan logo. Giant wang on the back. Chrome exhausts. Very, very cool. So yeah, if anybody knows what series this is from, please let me know. Because that is really cool. And we didn't just get one of them, we actually found two of them. This one has red wheels, very cool. They're just plastic wheels with plastic tires. There's the base, you can read that. This is a matte black with a red interior, clear window. Exact same racing sponsors, same livery over this top. Just a different color variation. But wow, that looks really cool. Really cool. Let's put these both up side by side. Where is it? There it is. That is awesome. Little 350 showcase. Next, you can see, yes, there is another Ferrari. Wow, is this the California? 599 GTB. Thought it was the California for a second. This gets all the headlight details. Ferrari logo. Leather interior. These cool wheels, nice cramey wheels, nice interior inside there. Get that to focus. There we go. Pretty well detailed interior. And on the back there, no real light details, but it's a red car, so you can't really tell. So yeah, pretty old. I'm glad that I found a few Ferraris. And what do we got? Ooh, yes. We got the Mercedes Benz AMG CLK or something like that. CLK DTM. AMG Mercedes CLK DTM. Wow, nice silver. Mercedes silver paint. Get a chrome interior. Racing seats. Get side flares over the wheels. Oh, that looks really cool. Gets the silver insert for the badge. Painted headlights. That's really cool. Plastic spoiler on the back. Ah, cool looking car. That is really cool. We do get chrome 
exhaust tips. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit of silver on there. That is awesome. Add that guy down to there. And we're almost done. We're almost done. Next, I found a car which kind of looks like the Speed Racer style car. I'm not sure what this one's called. Fast Fuse. 2003 copyright. But it really looks like something science fiction-y, something from Speed Racer, something you'd see in a futuristic style movie. And for me, personally, being a sci-fi fan and a Speed Racer fan as well, this is such a cool, cool car. I love the design, love the wings, giant sweet tail on the back there. Just, <sighs> it looks like, it looks like everything you could possibly think of thrown into one car. And it kind of looks like a fish, kind of looks like a, a spaceship, uh, kind of looks like a stingray, the actual animal stingray rather than the Corvette stingray. And that's just really, really cool. I love my science fiction, I love my futuristic style cars, and that is just, that is insane, that is so cool. And yeah, the Fast Fuse, put that guy down there, and next up, yes, that's another Ferrari, this is the tuned Ferrari, it still gets the badges, plastic, black plastic window by the looks of it, can't, can't actually see anything inside there. Big tuned wheels and the tuned wing on the back there. And this is the tuned 360 Medina. Really cool. Really cool. So, yes, never leave a Ferrari behind. Uh, next up, we have an old Matchbox Corvette. Really nice. Has some, I don't know what that is silver paint on there somebody has painted on themselves i think that's just a pen so that should come off quite easily not to worry about that pretty good condition still gets the chrome grill insert clear window the red on the side there with the silver paint around it these old school sport mag style wheels no rear light details but just a really really cool car so i'm going to clean up that silver off there and I think this will be a nice addition to the collection. Only 67 Corvette. Awesome. Um, yeah, running out of room. Only a couple of cars left. So let's get all of these guys out at once. Because, well, I have to say that they're very cool. So I'm going to line these guys up here so you can see them. Kind of, you can kind of guess what they are. And then we'll go into the Nissan Skyline. Really cool. I only have one other version of this particular Skyline uh, from this this year, like this particular casting design. There you go, Nissan Skyline. Doesn't say exactly what Skyline it is, but it's an actual GTR 32. So very nice, plastic wing on the back there. Cool flame design on the side, drop tropo on there. Nice five spoke wheels, OH5 wheels black bonnet with a Nissan logo and some bonnet pins and get the headlight with the actual air intake inside it really really cool and can see inside that it is actually a right hand drive car very nice just the way it should be and we're going to move some of this stuff out of the way last couple of cars guys last couple of cars I hope you've enjoyed today's episode um, today has been pretty good, pretty good little uh, haul, I have to say. And next we have a Holden VT Commodore, and this is the SS Commodore. Not too sure what the livery is from. If anybody knows what this livery is actually representing, please let me know. That's a very cool Holden Commodore, nonetheless. Gets the, the brake lights on the back there. And have a look on the back. SS Commodore VT. And I used to own one of these. So, very nice to see it. And I just want to point out now, for anybody that doesn't know much about Commodores, the VT is probably one of the worst Commodores ever. It's like it's, it's just like a really heavy, heavy boat, which uh, kind of just like tilts and round corners no matter what you do to it. So, uh, 
comfortable car, easy to drive, but when you actually want to drive it, like <clears throat> you actually want to drive it, like you actually want to go onto a good road and get some speed up and stuff like that, uh, it's very, very floaty. Next up, we have a Ford Falcon XR. It's a BA Falcon 164 scale from Bianti, obviously, I have to show that. Um, One dollar as well, mind you. And I don't know if this is an XR8 or an XR6. Not too sure. Really nice, I love the lens, head, lens tail lights on the back of this. I can't quite read what it says. Could be an eight, XR8 or an XR6. Uh, if it's an XR6, it will be a Barra engine. If it's an XR6 turbo, it will be a turbo Barra engine. And I don't know, I think this is the V6 version, or the straight six version, I should say. <clears throat> I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna take this off camera for a second so I can read this. Okay, it's an XR8. It's very hard to read, but it's an eight on the side there. And you see the interior is really well detailed on this as well. Bianchi do an absolutely fantastic, fantastic job at their Australian cars. And on there, you can see inside there, really nicely detailed. So, very happy for that. And the last car, really cool, is another Commodore. Yes, really beautiful green color. This is also missing the spoiler off the back, but that doesn't bother me because I'm not a big fan of the spoiler. So that's fine. Gets authentic wheels. These are 100% genuine looking wheels. They look fantastic. Real light painted details. Just, oh no, they are. They are. In they are a lensed insert. Wow, it's hard to tell, but yeah, they're lensed plastic. Uh, this one suffered a little bit of damage. It's lost the exhaust, so very funny for that. There you go, VYSS Commodore. Really cool, really cool. And that's gonna bring us to the end of a fantastic episode. Couple of Bianchis, really nice to see put these guys down here in the center so you can see them just very very happy for to be able to find these for a dollar and yeah all these for a dollar those 14 bucks everything else is regular prices and that's it that's it that's going to be the end of the episode oh no it's not ha <laughs> ha yes we have one more corvette Singray c3 very cool chrome bumpers wow chrome side pipes Really nice to get it painted deep. Are they painted? Those could be a lensed insert also. Really nice. Doesn't have any opening parts. And the base is a new ray. So there we go, that's it. That's the end of the show. That's the end of the show. I put that aside. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna leave you all alone. I'm gonna stop annoying you. I'm gonna stop rambling on. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you guys to have yourselves a fantastic day. I'm gonna go over and see my bro, and I'm going to, yeah. Actually, I might, I might do a little bit of a recording of some of his collection. So yeah, might have to uh, stay tuned for that too. So until next video, really hope you guys enjoyed. Really hope you guys, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just very happy about some of the cars that are in this, like all these Ferraris, uh, my pops. They're really cool. So very, very happy for that. And yes, you have yourselves a fantastic week. I will see you all next week. And yes, be sure to like, do the whole like, subscribe. If you really want to, you don't have to. I do not mind. But if you do want to, that's brilliant. And uh, yeah, take care. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye.